Podcasters. So you know, uh, remember? Get or I don't remember. Guess what song came up at work today? Oh, did Mariah finally finish the frosting? No, that wasn't it. Remember, oh. r- remember the cheesecake song? No. <laughs> <laughs> So on purpose? It, so it was it was kind of like serendipity. Uh somebody that I work with, they have a second job and they work at the cheesecake factory. And I was like, aha, do you know about the cheesecake song? That's <laughs> and funny. I had to play the, you know, cheesecake bunching on the cheesecake. You know, I, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but it did come up today and I thought that was uh very funny. Um, Did they wonder why McGruff was singing it? That was Louie. I can... Cheesecake munching on a cheesecake <laughs> munching on a cheesecake. Wait, so you don't carry McGruff around with you all the oh, time? Oh, you want to... Uh, let me... Hold on. Let me see if he's here. Hey, hey, McGruff. McGruff, can you come here, please? Hey, everybody. It's your old pal, McGruff. McGruff, where did you come from? I was on the floor because I'm a dog and I was laying at the foot of the bed or whatever. You know, whatever dogs do. That tracks. I, I yep. getcha. So what's been up since the last time we saw you, McGruff? Um, well, I've been taking lots of bites out of crime. That sounds um, like you. We have to make sure that all the crime is bitten. Um, yeah, so I've also um, I got a new water bowl. Because oh. I'm a dog, you know, and um, dog water bowl. Um, Do you ever take a bite out of crime and then chew it up and then spit it out and then like stomp and on I it? I stomp on it and I say, make "Take that point. crime." Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you know, double homicide is bad. It I should is. write a song about that. Um, yeah. Tax evasion, it's real bad. You should not do that. Um, hey, McGruff, would you ever yeah. consider doing like a buddy cop movie with me? Sure. Well, well, who would well, be we, the well, good cop? Who would be the bad cop? Um, well, I think I have a good cop personality, but I got a bad cop voice. So whatever the character needs. Here's the thing. Last week, I had... A lot of fun wearing this oh, during our last episode. The Green Goblin. Scary. It's not the Green Goblin. Good try, though. It's Dr. Doom. No, uh, Dr. We've also Pepper. determined he sounds like Kermit the Frog. Oh, I now, met him before. <laughs> uh, how is he in person? Um, he's a real diva. <laughs> is he? Yeah. You, you would figure Piggy was the big diva. But I know, okay. Piggy, the nicest person you'll ever meet in your whole life. Really Kermit grounded. the Frog wouldn't yeah. give me the time of day. Wow. Wow, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Kermit the Frog, super diva. Um, so I, I really enjoyed wearing this mask, and I thought, like, what if we did a buddy cop movie where I'm kind of the good cop, right? Uh-huh. But I turn into the bad cop, but you oh, don't no. know that I'm the bad cop, huh? Oh, so I'm, the, like, the neutral cop. You're no, the no. good cop and you, the bad you turn cop. Out, you turn out being the good cop in no. the end. I see we swap you know, roles in the middle. It's one of those surprise twists at the end. But you're like, not like just like a mean cop for a tactic. You're like, bad. Yes. You're the bad cop. Yes. And I you're like going to do that. crime and I got to take a bite out of it. Exactly. Nice sheet. Are you, are you down for that? Let's do it. We should come up with a title. The good, the bad, and the mediocre. No, that's not the, good. The good, the bad, and the McGruffy. The McGruffy. Um, and do I play McGruff or do I play a character like you, you should play McGruffy the dog? McGruffy, no, I should. I Detective like, McGruffy, like Stone Slade Splasher, like a cool oh. cop name. Wow. Detective Crunch. Monk. Nope, that's not it. Detective um, Chomp, Chomper T. Jones the Third. Well, I'll tell you what, Esquire. why don't. Also Why don't you let Andrew and I finish up this episode and you go jot down some ideas and next time we see you, 
maybe you'll have some stuff ready. That sounds like a plan, Hazen. Let's uh, we'll get a writer's room together and we'll we'll uh, get some ideas flowing and and maybe we can get a script and we can pitch it to some of those Hollywood producers you're always talking about, like Mr. Robert Iger of the Walt Disney Company. Bobby, yeah, yeah, I'm sure or wanna or do Kevin something. Feige. It could be oh. a superhero movie. I like that idea. Or maybe it's it to both of them. George Lucas and nah, he's out of the game already. Star he's Wars the- and Cops and McGruff. Yeah, he's out of the game. It would have to be Bobby Kathleen or, or Kennedy Kev. from Star Wars. Uh, maybe Dave Filoni. We'll what see. if McGruff had a hat and a whip and was the new Indiana Jones? Oh, now wait a second. I like that better than the buddy cop movie thing. Yes, we can uh, ride horses and a dog on a horse. It's pretty funny. The jokes write themselves. All right. Well, All I right. will come up with a treaty. I'll let you do some of the writing as well, and then we'll meet later and compare ideas. All right. I'm going to go get started on this right now, and uh, I'll text you when uh, I have something good, okay? Sounds good. All right, buddy. See you soon. All righty. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Sorry. It's th- this way. <laughs> anyway, was, thanks for, <laughs> for coming over. Um, that was unexpected. I didn't realize. Yeah, he was you come just over. was like, hey, is McGruff around? And he just happened to be around, you know, because he is also my dog, apparently. Wow. <laughs> he just, he's down there. He's He pulled out a pad of paper and is drawing a picture of. What is that? An idol? I don't know. It's hard to tell. He wants to be Indiana Jones. He wants <laughs> amazing. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I mean, it's it's great timing considering that we'll have some inspiration uh, with the game coming out next. Right. Month, but yes, that um, comes out. I think in December. It comes out this yeah. year, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, December 9th. That I'm sounds uh, like something I've heard before. Yeah. Did we ever watch the trailer for the game? I have no idea. I know I've personally watched it, but I don't know if we've watched it on here. I don't even know if we've talked about it much on here. Oh, well, there's an Indiana Jones me, video game coming out. If we let if me play it, let me bring this up because Indiana Jonas and the Great Circle. Blah blah blah. Is this the Bethesda one? Are they going to have it on Switch? I don't think so. I think it's for Xbox. I know it's on PC. Xbox and PC and PlayStation 5 will come later. All right. Check this out. All right. Uh, Oh, actually, yeah, I should leave the volume down. Yes. Oh, you see, Xbox logo. We can... So, this is actually... Like, the gameplay looks really fun, and all of the graphics look fantastic for this And it's very just, like, it's Harrison Ford's face. They got Oh, yeah. Yeah. They don't have... In an article I read, they they named the guy that's doing the Harrison Ford's voice. It's not him. It's not old man Harrison Ford doing young Indiana Jones, but... But it looks so good, though. I just bonked him in his head with his head. And we're seeing you know, Lucasfilm games. This is Indiana Jones in the desert, or in the desert, the the jungle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here's Ope is a probably oh, it's some sort of store. I mean, it lady. looks like a storage facility or like a museum like, or something. Some evil guy. Oh, he's a priest. Oh, that, he know, looks like Vin Diesel. That they kind of look like Vin Diesel. <laughs> Oh, Rats. now he's on the on the attraction. Oh, you got to put some oh, gears together and make a machine. Ooh, this looks an like ancient machine. Yeah, to open up the door to the old. Hey, look, it's Marcus Brody. <laughs> the detail in this is fantastic. It's this is great. I've been looking. Oh, Indiana for a Jones just threw a hammer at a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for a replacement uh, for Hogwarts Legacy for a while. Uh-huh. Well, that's not 100% true. So, 
I I love playing Hogwarts Legacy, and mm -hmm. for those that have been listening for a while may remember that Hogwarts Legacy was really the first game of that style that I played in years. Especially oh, I didn't just the punch through. the guy in the face. Hold on. Oh, that was cool. Anyway, <laughs> and he's <laughs> whipping him too. Oh, and he shot, and he shot a guy. <laughs> This is like Indiana Jones, everybody. It's super Just so Indiana you know. Jones. It's not like, you know, fake Indiana Jones. Like, some of the other games are like, ah, uh, yeah, you, like, whip them and they fall down. They're like, you're punching a guy in the face. I love the fact that he was, like, flying on the plane. He's like, now he's, he's jumped from, from a plane to, to another plane. <laughs> yep. Now he's playing on his tablet. Yep, he's got to get his, uh, you know, he's doing, uh, you know, the daily uh, wordle. <laughs> uh the great circle yeah but anyway so you're oh oh guy dropped a pot ah uh, that was an ancient pot man that guy doing the voice sounds really good they should get him to redo the ride <laughs> I, he does sound really good uh so yeah indiana jones and the great circle uh december 9th i believe is the release date for this game and I'm telling you, I've been... So, Hogwarts Legacy was mm -hmm. really the first game that I played in a really long time. And I I don't know, I really enjoyed that game. I don't know if it's because it was just really nostalgic for me to be able to play something like that. The game is also really good. <laughs> and when I finished it, I was craving that style game again. Sure. And luckily for me... At the time, Spider-Man 2 was, or the Miles Morales the Miles, game was, yeah, was yeah, the second that. one was going to yep. come out. And so I went and purchased um, the first Miles game or the second one in the trilogy because the first one was available as part of like the monthly subscription to the Game Pass thing. So oh, okay, cool. I was able to play all three of those. I 100%ed all three of those games, and then I kept wanting more. Right. And somebody told me, uh, you should go back and play the old Arkham Asylum games, the Batman games oh, that were mm -hmm. released. Oh, man. I kind of knew they existed, mm -hmm. but they're so freaking good. Like I played it, the it, first one, I think, a little bit. It, it was, doesn't it was feel fun. like it's like a 10-year-old game. Yeah, well, when you write the story right and everything, it, you know, why it shouldn't. But it's it's not just the story, like, like the graphics, graphics, the mechanics, stuff, yeah. like every it's just so good. I don't know. The trilogy I don't even think it's a trilogy. I think it might be four games for the Batman series. Um but yeah, that was the last thing I was truly playing. And then I remember this one was gonna come out and I ended up getting an alert. Like I saw a thing on Instagram float by because the Disney Parks account posted like a, a short trailer on Instagram right. that the game was coming just kind of to tease it, um, just to remind people that it was coming. And I thought, okay, well, this is definitely a Dear Santa moment because <laughs> I got this game. Um, Dreamlight Valley has another paid expansion that they're doing. Of have you seen the paid do. expansion video for that one? I haven't seen it. No, I have some. Oh. I have some folks at work that play Dreamlight Valley too, and so they've been keeping up with it more than I have. So I've heard about the floating islands and blah 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 and all this mm -hmm. stuff that I haven't really watched any of the the new update video. All right, um, here we'll watch the trailer. It's a couple of minutes that. long here. They release a whole bunch of stuff here. Are you ready for uh, this? Ba I don't know if I am. Some big clock tower. Welcome to the story. Hot air game. balloon ship thing. Life here hasn't been so happily they got these new like, Merida. thingies that are very um, like epic Mickey. Once upon a time, the storybook veil who is this supposed to be? A storybook veil. Stories. No, who is when narrating this? Oh, I, I thought it was, um, what's her name from Murder, She Wrote? Angela Lansbury? Yes, it sounds like her. But look at this, we're getting Maleficent. No, it kind of sounds like Julie Andrews. A little bit. Or somebody that's pretending to be her. Right. But we're getting Maleficent, we're getting Hades, we're getting Merida, Flynn, uh, 
They're supposed to be another tool? What is that, a tennis racket? Oh, looks like it. That's a net. Unravel mythic riddles and reveal their hidden secrets. Hmm. From what I've heard, we're also supposed to get... Look at that sad house! It's from the new storybook veil. And... Help old friends come back Old friends, Aurora. This right here feels very Kingdom Hearts to me. Like sure. that transition. This Valley. The Storybook Veil, Part 1. Part November 1? 20. Yeah, because the, the way that they've been set up is that they'll release Part 1 and then like three months later they'll release Part 2. It's what they did with this expansion pack. Gotcha. The, and, yeah, the yeah. last one released December of last year. We got mm -hmm. Part 2 in like March. And then we got part three in July, I think. June, gotcha. July or something. So um, what's so there's also a free update coming as well, right? Yeah. And the free update is the one that's supposed to allow the floating islands. Uh, let me see if I can quickly find... I don't think there was necessarily a... It's probably just like a talking person going like, hey, this is the update. Yeah, they ended up releasing or they ended up doing one of those um, showcase things where okay. they were talking about everything that was coming uh, to the game. I don't want to do the whole thing because it was like 20 minutes for sure. the entire scrub through it or something. But yeah. I've heard about this floating islands that it seems like they're adding one to each biome. Yes. Um, and that's going to be where I put all the junk houses that I don't ever want to look at. This is what they're talking about right here, the floating island. So yeah. there's going to be four upon okay. launch. They are going to cost like 50,000 coins to unlock, by the way. I got 8 million coins or 80 oh, million. Oh, I know. Or I'm not worried about that. But if you're a new player, pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. pumpkins. Or you can come to my island well, we could do like an island swap thing and I'll put some stuff that you can take with you and you can be rich in the game. Rich, I say. I have not farmed for anything in like, I don't know how long. <laughs> Frosted Island, Sunlit Island, Plaza Island, and I forgot what the other one is. But it's kind of nice because a lot of the stuff that we complain about with the Valley now is that you run out of space, right? right? So each island they've said is gonna have its own item limit. Mm -hmm. They've also said that a lot of the stuff that grows that makes you angry that you have to clean up, like the night thorns and oh, all that yeah. other stuff will not populate on the islands. However you decorate them will be how they're left. I see. So if you want them as just places to decorate because you wanna showcase them, you wanna bring people over and you know, mm -hmm. kinda do island shares, the islands are going to be the place nice. to do it without it messing up your game, really. So I thought that was pretty cool. Right. Uh, uh, what's the the other thing? Big one I heard is uh, the uh, diagonal. Yeah. So that. Uh, 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 let me see. Where can I find it? Yeah. So right here, this is where they were talking about how now you'll be able to have 16 points of articulation on nice. anything that you rotate. Which is fantastic because decorating and placing things in certain locations or angles is going to be mm -hmm. so much easier now. Right. And this is all part of the free update. This is right. not part of the paid expansion. And we're getting Sally. So she's going to be the next. She's excited to bring Sally to the French guy too. Yeah. She's going to be the next um, star path. Then we're going to get Maleficent and oh, Hades as part of the uh, Storybook Veil vale expansion. Um, Enchanted and so books, there, all sorts of so stuff. So there's oh, a whole yes. other, like, dealio for that, right? So like, there's going to be two things that they release. Uh, that there, there's going to be the paid, or there's going to be the free Star Path, which is going to be Sally and all these enhancements. Uh, the Floating Islands will also be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be the paid expansion, which is going to be the storybook veil part, which is going to give you the additional characters. Like it starts off with Hades mm -hmm. and then you unlock Merida. You eventually unlock Flynn. Uh, and then in part two, I think they said that they're going to tease Maleficent in part one. And then part two, like in March or whatever next year is when Maleficent comes. To right. It. Well, and so but this also includes like a whole new 
how do you say valley like area right? yeah. yeah so yeah the, the veil vale is like another doing, location yeah the way it, it was kind of nice how they did it because uh i mean you could quick travel you know how you have the sure. little quick travel from biome to biome yeah. there's also tabs so that you can go to eternity isle which is mm -hmm. the current expansion pack but the way that they integrated it into the game is if you go into the castle Obviously, in the castle, you have all of the doors set up, and each right. one of them is its own biome. You have your Ratatouille and your Toy Story and Lion King and all that stuff. But then on the third floor, I think, second or third floor, uh, off to the left, they they opened up a gate, and there's, like, a little sign that's pointing outside with, like, a little ship. Mm -hmm. And then when you walk through that door, you're in a courtyard that's floating with, like, mm -hmm. just arches like like arch doorways and okay if i remember to take a clip of this in my game i will insert it here during the editing process of the I episode see. okay but it's essentially like a doorway and there's seven of them if i remember correctly so as far as that location in the castle is concerned there's up to seven expansion packs that they can do at any point mm -hmm. and on one of them was the symbol for eternity isle and then a floating ship and it's the floating ship that takes you to there in the original cutscene oh, okay. when you go to eternity isle so that's how you unlock it and then once you go through the cutscene and it shows you eternity isle you go through the whole story then you can do the fast travel with i see else. okay so uh it's pretty good i'm looking forward to it Remember, i time is money. i have to admit that $30 originally felt like it was going to be a lot of money for an expansion pack. Mm -hmm. But given how much I play and given how much of the story was spread out over a year, mm -hmm. I feel like it was kind of worth it. Sure. At least for me, it was worth it. Right. Yeah. Um, everybody plays differently. And I, I mean, I haven't even downloaded yet because I haven't even had time to finish. I don't have Mulan. I don't got Tiana. I don't got nobody. The oh, last man. couple of people, because I've just not been. But you've been like crazy busy. Like... Yeah, I'm doing like a billion shows all the time and whatever. Like, yeah, I have no time. Yeah. So I barely have time to sleep. Well, even even right now, I'm happy that you were able to jump <laughs> on. It's like people don't know that it's like one thirty in the morning. Right. We're I all got like I've... super chipper here. Yeah, I I finished rehearsal. We're doing. Uh... A uh, Les Miserables. Um, so Is that, that opens. Les yeah, Les Miserables. <laughs> Miserables. <laughs> it's back in the, in the back of the throat. Right um, gotcha. So uh, we're doing that. Um, I'm also, you know, uh, I have a couple. I have another show closing, and I have another show opening, and uh, the week, uh, the day after Thanksgiving, and yeah, it's just uh, everything's great, and I'm always busy all the time. Hey, nice. you see how happy I am. <laughs> Nice. I could tell you're super happy. Um, yeah, it's great. Uh, I love being busy. Um, Did we, but yeah, by so, the way, mm -hmm. we're talking about recording like at some crazy hour. Mm -hmm. Did we mention Melissa's not here? I mean, people can tell. I mean, I can, I was assuming here, you could tell right? she's normally. We also have like wider screens going on, which right. is kind of throwing me off because usually like this people can't see it because our windows are slightly right. smaller when there's three of yeah, us. Yeah, you so. can't see my big giant Mickey all the time. Oh, we can see him today. You can see him. There's big giant Mickey. Mine is boxed there. up in the garage. Yeah. Well, it I makes me sad Mickey. that he's back there because I don't have so much shelf space. And also, and this is like dirty. There's like a that yellow thing right there is a Christmas lights tester that's just been sitting there since last Christmas because I'm lazy nice. and I have it. I and like then there's it. McGruff's album right there. Hey, Yay! Album. And what else is there? There's Bob Garfunko's. Oh, I got it. an album thing I got to tell you. Right Indiana now, Jones, uh, um, Chia Pet. Anyway. Nice. Rex, um, but yeah, Rex Melissa's not here. She had some personal things that she had to take care of, so she wasn't able to join us. So we're um, just doing it. It's also it. super late. So yeah, it's super you know, late. We're just, we're just going to have some fun. Out. Yeah. And, you know. Uh, Melissa, Melissa will be back. Not in front of my arc reactor. Don't worry. This was, this was my uncle Howdy. Yes. When I did the uncle Howdy thing, I even, I even went all Andrew on this. Uh huh. And I ended up cutting a thing out of the bottom. <laughs> so you put the to lights. Add a yeah. battery pack, and then wait, can I get to it? Yeah, I got. Come on, sausage fingers, get in there. Don't cut yourself. I almost did. 
but oh, it's too bright. It's blue though. You can it's tell it's blue. blue. Yeah, it's blue. It's blue. That's cool. I had to uh, 3D print like a little cylinder uh-huh. that was just slightly thick to kind of uh, dampen the Rap- light because oh, it was okay. like too. Yeah. Pardon me. So all of the LEDs are stuck inside of the little cylinder sure. that's inside of the, the little. I also frosted the glass because it was 100% clear. Oh, right. To help it. Mm-hmm. And I think it did a good job. It, that it looks got great. Its, it got the point across. Little projects is all good. Listen, for a, a costume that I only wore for approximately seven minutes. It was great. The mask, the wig, everything that I went through, seven minutes total. But damn, it was worth it. <laughs> I love but it. But now you have it. I do. And, and I can so, use you, know, you can stuff. just wear it around the house if you want. I could. I'm just going to go out and do yard work in it. It's like, <laughs> you know, just mow the lawn in it. No, I wanted yeah, to record brother. in it. No, that's not the but right guy. I can't, uh, I can't, re- like, I can't record because, like, the yeah, headphones. Yeah, the headphones. Like, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Oh, that, what was, I'm going to have to find the video. I'll, rem- I'll send myself a, a note. There was another um, Macho Man video that I found. Uh-huh. Oh, um, I'm trying to remember. I'll find it. I'll send it to you. We'll play it next week or something. Um, the Macho Man. I gotta work. I wanna like work on an impression. I wanna get it down because I think I could. Um, but I just like the Macho Man. I have no affinity for wrestling or anything. I just like Macho Man. <laughs> I just want. I'm really considering finding a file or modeling it myself if I have to, but modeling out the Macho King crown for you Mm -hmm. so that you could just be the Macho King. So he just wore a crown sometimes? Walk around. No, he was the Macho King. Oh, yeah. That was his thing. He was the Macho King. Yeah. Because he won the tournament. He was the Macho King. Oh, yeah. I'm going to work on this impression. I'm going to work on it in the acting and the stuff. It hurts right here. Yeah. Now I can't say Let me rub because I was like, yeah, it's French. It means the miserable ones. Let me rub this because it takes of Jean Valjean and Jouvert. And they are there. And Jouvert is chasing Jean Valjean. And he cannot let Jean Valjean go. And then uh, he is uh, no longer uh, with us anymore, this Javert. And then uh, Jean Valjean's adopted daughter, Cosette, she comes and she gets married. And then Jean Valjean uh, uh, goes to, how you say, uh, heaven. Uh, Jean Valjean. And the then... only thing, the only Jean Valjean that I remember, I think was from Isle of Lucy, where she was trying to work with Jean Valjean Ramon. <laughs> I if don't I... know this Lucy, but uh, <laughs> there is uh, in the Les Misérables, there is uh, Cosette and Marius and uh, Angelos and Kofriek and uh, those are actually names I didn't make and have them up. Uh, it's turning into some other accent now. I don't know what it is. But it's working. Yes, and uh, we have uh, Eponine and a Fontine. Uh, Tenadier. And when do they start singing It's a Hard Knock Life? That is at the very beginning. They, they're they pulling a big rope and they have a bucket and they <clears> scrub <throat> the floor and, uh, you know, then the, she comes in and she says, you clean this place like the top of the Chrysler building, yes. Uh, now, is that, when, is that when the little girl also says, uh, it's okay, just kick the ball, I won't yank it out. And then the the other kid comes and tries to kick it, but then she takes yes, it out last then, minute and he falls and, backwards. And yes, and then he says, uh, "The little girl, she says that uh, he deserved it because he's a blockhead." Blockhead, uh, yeah. But it's in French. Yeah, you have familiar. to translate the blockhead into French. Uh, but you understand how it goes. It's very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and then there's a part uh, where they sing about going to bed. Oh, the sun I, I has gone to bed, and so must I. Whoa. That's not what I remember. I, I thought 
they were looking out into the distance singing something about somewhere out there someone's thinking of me. Yes, and then they sing about somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he also wore like a big hat in that scene, right? Like really big. Yeah, like Captain Crunch. Yeah, like a Captain Crunch hat, yeah. <laughs> Mouskowitz, I believe, was their name. Yes, uh, um, yes, Mouskowitz. Then, but they tell you because you're coming from France, they have to tell you that there are no cats in America. Oh, uh, when you go that to, makes sense. When you go yeah, to yeah, America, yeah. there are no cats. I get you. Okay. Um, well, for the Mouskowitz, it makes them very safe in America. Yes. I th I think I'm gonna have to watch this play. This sounds like a pretty exciting play. Yes, it's very good. Yes, it's very long and very sad, and people cry a lot. Ah, uh, well. All right. Um, get me and some scene. tickets. Okay, I will watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely sold out. You can't even get tickets. Damn for it. it! I missed <laughs> out on it. I'll 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 sneak a video or something to you. Just well, kidding. I can't do that for legal purposes. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, before we continue, I want to take just a brief moment to let you know that this episode of Podcasters is brought to you by a fantastic group of listeners, our fairy godparents, also known as the FGP Squad, and it is their support via Patreon that help make all of this madness happen. If you want more information on how you can become part of the FGP Squad family, we invite you to go to podcasters.com slash FGP. There you will find some information on what the FGP Squad is all about. You'll find some of our top contributors. You'll also find a link to our Patreon. But if you want more info, you can always reach out to us. We'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. But being a part of the FGP Squad family gets you some additional perks like access to exclusive discount codes for new Podcasters gear. Uh, access to our happy hour calls when we get a chance to do those, which I think we're long overdue to do one of those, by the way. We need to, like, figure something out to do one soon. Right. Um, uh, additional content that we've uploaded to Patreon and more. So if you are interested in becoming part of the FGP Squad family, we invite you to go to podcasters.com slash FGP. And, of course, to all of the members of the FGP Squad, we just want to send a huge thank you for your continued support. Uh, while we're talking about links, I want to remind you that Podcasters.com slash links is the bookmark that you should keep handy. Maybe even create a shortcut on your phone for, because that is where you will find our latest episode, e, a link to the Quizneyland playlist. You'll also find a link to our Discord, so you can join our community, a link to the FGP squad, any fundraisers that we're running with Team Boat Willy. You will also find a link to our YouTube channel and Larry's YouTube channel, Goofy Guys Adventures, and of course, a link to our Armchair Imagineering playlist. Uh, so again, podcasters.com slash links is where you will find all of that. And like I said, just put a little shortcut or something on your phone. It'll be easy to access. You can just like swipe to one of your phone screens and just click it. Boom. Easy access. And uh, let's let's get back to the show now. Hey, Asian, I'm, oh. I'm back really quick. Um, I just heard you were um, talking about the FGP squad. We are. A fantastic group of people known as the Fairy Godparents. Yeah. Yeah, um, I just wanted to um, come over here and tell you about how if you're not a part of the FGP squad, that is a crime. It's oh. a crime, so um, you should make sure to join the FGP squad if you don't want to be a criminal. Um, well, so mean, just... That's just I didn't know that was those... the case, but I'm glad somebody cleared it up for me. Just so all the folks know out there that uh, if you don't want to have a rap sheet um, in the eyes of McGruff anyway, then you should join the FGP squad. Um, well, yes. Okay. That that sounds like sound advice, McGruff. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I also had a question about um our film. While well, I'm working on some a couple treatments here, I just wanted to know how you felt about um, how shall I say? No, I'm not going to say it. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Um, Singing? Yeah. Um, how do you feel about what if it was um in a musical? I love it. All right, but I, it'll be like a secret musical. That's also a western and Indiana Jones. I uh, so love I'm working it. on lots of things. Um, as so, long as somewhere in there you incorporate these lyrics, just came to mind. I don't. I don't think I've ever heard this before. But sure. 
make some of the, make one of the lines in there. So if you care to find me, look to the western skies. As someone told me lately, everyone deserves a chance to fly. I see. Um, That's all I got so far. Okay, um, I'll work on... Incorporate it somehow. Um, this sounds... Uh, it's very heavy. The gravity of the situation is really weighing down on me. So I'm just going to uh, write some of those lyrics down before I forget them. Um, so, yes, we'll be back. Uh, we'll talk about this later. Um, I just want to tell you about uh, making sure that you join the FGP squad so you're not a criminal. Okay, uh, McGruff will be back. Bro Dr. Strange will return. <laughs> Doctor Strange will return. I don't know why he called himself Doctor Strange. He's because uh, he's I got mean, a I guess. Coat, I guess that reminds him of a cape. <laughs> I <guess>. know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to get uh, McGruff like a tiny Doctor Strange cape now. Yeah, and he can I'll, do that. I'll like, three print a little I Agamotto for him. Whatever Doctor Strange does with his fingers. Yeah. I don't we know. were. Um, what were we talking about on Discord recently? Where uh, that I was wrong about people not being on SNL. That oh. part. <laughs> I want to yeah. apologize. I said apparently I don't remember saying this, but apparently I said Bill Murray and uh, uh, Billy Crystal were not on Saturday Night Live, uh, and uh, they apparently are. Uh, I don't remember saying it, but I trust the people that said that they, <laughs> that they are. And I looked up Billy Crystal was on one season. Bill Murray was like three seasons. Uh, but I don't know, uh, apologies. Maybe it was that thing where, you know, you put that in the video, you put a wrong thing in the video. So people oh, comment on it. So, That's like the ooh, algorithm. Thing. Did we do it on purpose? Maybe or I is did. my brain really just that foggy, just, not remembering just the Dodgers won in 2020? <laughs> am I just a dummy or I was not alive when those people were on Saturday Night Live? So, uh, I don't know. One of the two. I know we were well, talking about that on Discord. Well, that was mine that, uh, I like, Anita and Heather were saying they were surprised because they were like, oh, well... We couldn't like we were yelling at the the speakers because Hazing couldn't remember that the Dodgers won or couldn't believe that they won in twenty twenty. I was like, man, I barely remember what I had for breakfast this morning. You think I would remember what happened in twenty twenty? <laughs> Listen, folks, go on the Discord. You can make fun of us and how ti all tired we are all the time. Yeah, we're all tired. So That's I apologize also crazy to. Hours I think right it, now. Yeah, I think it was Albert who called me out. I appreciate you calling me out uh, on my oh, uh, incorrect. That's why I thought of it because what? when he was talking about that, he mentioned he was behind some episodes, and I said, <laughs> "Oh, do you want me to get you the Eye of Agamotto so you can freeze time?" He said that, or like the the time. Um, oh, what's Stone. it called from Harry Potter? No, the cloak of Time Turner. The Time Turner, yeah, the Time. Why turner. do I know that? I don't even like Harry Potter. Anyway, because, dun dun dun, Time Turner. Because it's uh, my wife. Maybe watch those during COVID. Or we can get a sling ring. What about from, from Deadpool? What about um? Well, I was also from Doctor Strange, I guess. I don't know. I can't think of any other. What about a DeLorean? Oh, a, a Doc Brown? The, 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 the you know the, the oh. Back to the Future. Did you know? Um, did you know that the the pine, the Twin Pines Twin Mall, Mall? Mm -hmm. is like close to our house in La Puente, California? I mean, I knew it was in L.A. somewhere. I didn't know it was close to your house. Okay, it's like super close to me. Sure. And I've been there. <laughs> they have a whole little Back to the Future countdown clock and everything when you walk oh, okay. through one of the doors and everything. But I saw some videos. I wish I had prepared them. But recently, they had like a Back to the Future day. Okay. And they had a bunch of people show up in DeLoreans and dressed oh, as Doc and cool. Marty. And they were just, like, all parading around in the parking lot and stuff. They had, like, one guy that was on an actual skateboard with a boom box. Just oh, like, nice. like, hey, Doc, I just wanted to see what was happening. I was like, okay, that's all right. <laughs> like, that was a horrible impression. But that is better than I sounded, can do. He sounded much better than that. Sure. Um, you build a time machine out of a DeLorean? I see. I can't do of, it. Out of a DeLorean? <laughs> Uh, let's the see. Good junk. Oh, oh before I forget. Oh, oh no. Um. Do Do you follow Jeff Goldblum's music career? 
I don't think I do uh, follow Jeff Goldblum's. I don't know why I tried to do a Jeff Goldblum impression. I mean, it, was, there. it was pretty good. Um, up I know he plays the it. piano. Yeah, so he has uh, a, a like a. I should be following. That's a that's like a very Andrew thing to do. That's what is follow that's what a I was weird wondering. celebrity's music career. It's, so I'm gonna open Spotify right now while you tell me about it. So, so he's can... got this band called the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra. Of course um, he does. Yeah, which he named after like his mom's best friend or something like that because he just liked how it sounded. <clears throat> um, but they're like uh, just like an old 1920s style band, like a big band sure, like, feel yes. to it. And so he's music always, that I love. <laughs> yeah, like he's always bringing like guests to sing with him and stuff like that. And I will tell you, it's he's he's not like totally bubbling it like you could yeah. you could tell it's jeff goldblum right but he doesn't sound bad like i can listen to his music and he's not like a hundred percent crooner but he gets yeah. away with it because he's jeff goldblum right. at least like like for me the novelty is that it's jeff goldblum singing but he's good he's not bad right and um he just released a new <laughs> vinyl with oh, okay. uh, two new songs, uh, "Let It Snow" and "Blue Christmas" with Veronica Swift, and I I want to get that vinyl. I I need it in my life. Uh, there's a couple other albums that he's released that I feel like I have to get now as well. Uh, you should be able to find the videos on YouTube. Uh, he's also mm -hmm. on Spotify, so you will be able to find it on Spotify. But. Looks yeah, like he has seven or eight albums. Some of them are yeah, just like digital, like two song. Yeah, um, it, it, they're EPs, but I mean, it's still good. I want to get this one in particular, though. So yeah, Jeff Goldblum, the the title Jeff Goldblum and the Mildred uh, Snitzer Orchestra is the first album. Um, let's see, it's kind of, Spotify has this kind of ordered weird. Um, and then he has a second one that's also titled the same thing. <laughs> um, and then he has a Christmas one, Winter Wonderland. Mm -hmm. uh, our, uh, Jeff Goldblum, The Christmas something? Whiz? I can't read it. The I have this all weird. Uh, anyway, he's got a few albums uh, starting in 2018. So now I am following Jeff Goldblum and the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra on yeah. uh, Spotify so I can make sure listen, to When you listen. have a chance, go back and listen to the Capitol Studio sessions. Okay. Yeah, that was one of the... Uh, <coughs> it, it was one of the first ones, if not the first one that he released. Oh, yes. Um, the Capitol Studio, that's the one with that... It looks all these, like, EPs came out. There's Cantaloupe Island, and... Yeah. These are all covers of, uh, um, you know, others. I don't I don't think any of them are original. No. Uh, I good think you'll enjoy it. There's a... It looks like there's... Yeah, well... Uh, Nostalgia in Times Square might be just them, because it's not credited to anybody else. I wish I knew how. I'll have to look these up, but yeah, um, I know I Cantaloupe Island it. is a song that exists in the uh, world before him. So, <laughs> I I have to admit, I'm actually happy because we have such similar music taste. Mm -hmm. We're we're fairly erratic in our music taste, but we're very similar in our music yes. taste. And so, uh, I get really happy when I find something that you don't know about. <laughs> So I, I'm really happy that you said that. So I'm gonna you have to listen this to one. this. Maybe I'll have to work these into a show one day. Just Jeff Goldblum's you album. Should work them into a conversation. Yeah, just like hey, the cheesecake song. Yeah, the cheesecake song what about Cantaloupe Island. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're in the kitchen. There's a cantaloupe on this island. See, that doesn't work very well. Boom. I don't know. We'll figure it out one of these days. It's gonna happen. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? <laughs> We'll talk about Agatha next week when Mel is back. I'm sure uh, Melissa has plenty of opinions yeah, on Agatha. It's, man, I will say, though, after watching all the episodes, mm -hmm. I was excited about it when, it when it was first announced and when we first got the teasers. But damn, it was so good. Right. So freaking good. So it was very cool. If you Left haven't watched open Agatha for a long, season two, it seems like. Yeah, or some if, sort of continuation. 
I whatever. As long right. as we get the same quality of this story, I'm for it. Right, agreed. I'm for it. So if you haven't had a chance to watch Agatha all along <clears throat> and you subscribe to Disney Plus, definitely recommend it. Uh if you have children, just know that there is um full backle nudity. Not frontal, it's back nudity. It's like a hiney. It's yeah. Y- you see her butt. There's a whole I'm just whole gonna say it. Blue moon. Full there moon. <laughs> Full moon. Full moon. Um yeah, everything else is just, you know, potentially scary for children, depending on what their tolerance is for scariness. But uh yeah, be warned. Um Agatha will show you. And the scariest yes. person of all, Deborah Joe Rupp. Da 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 Da, da, da. That's Kitty from uh, from that '70s show. If you don't yeah. know who that is, people listening, <laughs> she's at the show. <laughs> what else did I have? Oh, dude! Oh, I wish Mel was here to talk about this too. The video of the animatronic monsters for um um oh, oh what is Epic it called? Universe? The, Epic Universe. Yes. Dude, I gotta bring this up. Hold on a second. <clears throat> This was so well made. Right, yes. Monsters. By the way, they released a video on like a story or TikTok or something where they said that they want the fandom for that section of the park to be known as the creatures of the night or the children of the night. Creatures of the night, I believe. So well, Little Monsters know. was already taken, so they had to come up with something else. Is that the movie with Fred Savage? Well, isn't that what isn't that what Lady Gaga's fans are called? Oh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> isn't it that? No, that, I don't know but if they're yeah. little monsters. I think they're just <coughs> monsters. Maybe I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm something. Up. I'm gonna here. I'm gonna look it up. Lady Gaga. I'm little. pretty sure it's pronounced Lady Gaga. Uh, lady, little monsters. Yes, are they little monsters? Okay. Yes, but also, little monsters is a movie, um, starring uh, Fred, Fred Savage. Savage. Yes, yeah. and the weird blue uh monster guy. I watched yeah. that once because my wife likes that movie. <laughs> oh, Howie Mandel. That's right. I remember Howie. All right, check this out. Okay. Uh, let's play this because this is good, man. Castle right. von Dracula. I am Dr. Victoria Frankenstein. Together. Or cra- we Castle Frankenstein. Victoria Frankenstein. Frankenstein. The daughter or granddaughter of Victor Frankenstein, I think, yes. is the story. This is Peter. Technologically Look at this guy. Look at how good this animatronic is. In the attraction. This one's cool. Generation of fans. Frankenstein's we monster. We wanted to make sure that we kept everything that was familiar, kept everything that was the essence of these Thanks, monsters. Greg. But we wanted to take it to another level. These monsters are scary. These so animated figures are moving faster than any figures we have built, and we have so many of them. We have 14 animated Swamp figures. Swamp thing or place. something. 14. They are visceral. They are powerful. They are intense. Dracula. And from a technical standpoint, they exceed beyond everyone's wildest expectations for what an animated figure can do. <clears throat> the Frankenstein experiment. Oh, man. Also, Epic Universe opens on my birthday. Built. <laughs> Yay. Maybe they'll let me in for free. They should. If I go to Florida. Not that I really want to go to Florida, but... but if they're letting cool. you in for free to preview it, why not? Right. Look at that. Look at those teeth. It looks Look so at that good. underbite. <laughs> These the the universal um creative team doesn't mm-hmm. have a cool name like imagine. I think it's just called they? Universal Creative as far as I know. Lame. Um I yeah, love they need to that, be like, that the beast uh, from Beauty and the Beast is somehow involved in this. I think that's uh our Lord that's and Savior Dr. Jesus Frank Christ. No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> a superstar? He looks like he's got a halo behind him, but I think it's a moon. That's probably oh. like I bet you that is supposed to be like Victor Frankenstein. Yeah. So that's Victoria, granddaughter. 
And then here's Victor, and apparently the Beast came and slashed his portrait. Uh, and then yep. we have the Wolfman. Wolfman. And then Frankie. Who walks around, which looks cool. Like, it's so good, man. They look so much more lifelike than a lot of the stuff that Disney's put out. Well, I... Th- the thing is with, like, the Disney ones, too, like, in the last, I don't know how long, you know, when's the last time they did a realistic, I guess it's Star Wars, is, like, the realistic, like, humanoid, like, human-looking animatronic. Yeah. It's, like, Hux and and, and stuff. Because they really... are all too cartoony. Because, like, all the Frozen ones the... are all really yeah. cartoony and the Tiana and everything. Where these are, like, oh, you know. Oh, yeah, go I ahead. I guess it's not. I was going to say Lincoln, but that's Garner Holt that does that. Right. I mean, even if it's Garner Holt doing it, like, who knows? Garner Holt could be doing this one for all we know. They haven't said. Um, that's true. Uh, but... Um, yeah, until we get the Walt animatronic coming up, we won't know what they're like. Oh, that's the, true. The most recent ones have been like Hux and, you know, Kylo Ren's just like a mask. Um and General Beck and the Oh, that's gen, that's not a human. Uh and then the one before that I can think of as like the new redhead uh animatronic. Well, even even the redhead animatronic Very cartoony. It's very cartoony. Right. So that's like you have to like go way back into like the like the Hall of Presidents and and all that stuff. There's not really in Disney animatronics like a ton of like human esque like like realistic human beings. They're like you know Haunted Mansion, Pirates of the Caribbean, very cartoony. Yeah, um, I mean all this stuff. Even in the Hall of Presidents, like they. The Hall of Presidents animatronics look like they're wax figures. Right. Or I right? guess I should say there's like the there's that one show, The American Adventure. Uh the show that's uh, it's called The American Adventure in um Epcot. Where it's like Ben Franklin and uh uh Mark Twain are like, Hey, we're oh, doing yeah. whatever, blah blah blah. And then the yeah. history of America. That has like realistic people and like a lot of the old Epcot they're... rides and stuff. They're uh, realistic-ish, and it falls yeah. into the the eyes aren't squishy category. Right. And the thing that really, like for me, sold it is if you look at this particular mm-hmm. screenshot of Frankenstein, it it doesn't look like an animatronic. It looks mm-hmm. like somebody in Frankenstein makeup. Right. Right. So it has. It has a humanity to it that right. other animatronics don't have. Like, it looks real. Right. Right? And so th- I think that's why I was so impressed when I saw the video for these for the first time. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you know, the other stuff, <laughs> you know, it isn't. But even this, this looks so much more human-like because it looks like somebody actually transformed into a wolf. Right. And that's what they're going, you know, they're going for, I mean, that eyebrow movement was a little bit, but like in the still images, they do just look like people in costumes sort of thing, Um, which is cool, like, because of that, they're trying to replicate or, I don't know, replicate, but yeah, replicate like the old movies, but like if they were like the modern movies, like the dark universe that was supposed to happen that never did, all the monsters that would have been you know, in that, uh, because they they had the, what the Tom Cruise mummy was supposed to be the start of the dark universe. And then it fell apart. <laughs> oh, it was. Yeah. That was oh, supposed I didn't to know be, that. that was supposed to be the start of the dark universe. And they had all these, I think the like swamp thing was like the next, uh, or the creature from black lagoon. I think that's what that is. That is that what that and one is? The, the scorpion the... king. Yeah, but no, the in this video, is it the creature from a black lagoon? Is that yes. the fish looking one? Is not the swamp thing. That's a different Or maybe it is um, Let's see. I'm gonna look it up. Creature from it, but... the Black Lagoon. I'm pretty yes, sure it's it the is. creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah. Cause he also had the the vampire, the Dracula. Swamp Thing is from the eighties. So it's yeah. not Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing looks like a big uh like like blobby guy yeah more like moss i will say that this one looks less real than the frankenstein one for some odd reason 
and, as much as they wanted to pull off Edward Cullen here, they didn't. They didn't make him a sparkle, so they that's the eyebrows. Too big eyebrows. Yeah, (laughs) he doesn't shine like a diamond. But I mean, but what's cool is like looking at this still image. Like he has his mouth open, and it looks like the inside of a mouth, and not like a weird black void that some (laughs) animatronics look like. It it doesn't look like little servos or opening the mouth or anything. Yeah, this is fantastic. I would love to see them bring something like this to Universal Hollywood. Right. But Universal, I think, is – I don't I don't know. There, I guess there is potential of them bringing it because the Simpsons licensing expires really soon. Like in like uh, – In a year a two, or two. Yeah, a year think. or two. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, 26 or something. And at that point, they're going to have to find something to put in that area because Springfield's fairly large for – Yeah, it so is. it's – it. yeah, and, and they really do have to like – that ride system is so old at this point that they have to like – do something with that space. Yeah. Because I mean, there is, you know, some sort of some small sliver of Disney could renew their their lease of the Simpsons if they really wanted to and if Universal wanted to. Um but I think they yeah, they're on the way out. And I mean, good good fit for their, you know, put a castle and everything it's just it's in a weird spot because it's like right on the edge of that hill and everything Mm -hmm. um and it butts up right against um like the hogwarts area mm -hmm. so it's not it's not ideal because i think right between the two they have the building where they have the animal show right so it's been quite a while so i remember hogwarts is on the right i think there's a space I know there's a space between Hogwarts and then the Simpsons ride building because between those you can go down the escalators to go down to the the tram tour. Oh, to the tram thing too. Yeah, 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 yeah right. And I think the animal actor is on the left side, if I'm not mistaken. But then you have, I mean, but the only thing that really is in Simpsons in that one is you have a Moe's and you have a chicken guy. Well, you um, have quite a bit because. They the have the entire restaurant area that's supposed to be Duff Gardens and oh, as part right. of like the entrance. And then mm-hmm. they have obviously Moe's. They have the Quickie Mart stuff. Oh, yeah. They have. But it's just like it's small, like store, store, store kind of size shop. Right. The Krusty Burger is the bigger one with the two. The Krusty Burger is the big one. And then they have the Lard Lad where they have the donuts mm-hmm. um, across from the Duff Gardens portion. Uh, and I then mean, the it, big it ride, is... obviously. Yeah, it is a significant footprint. I don't think they could pull... If they had to repurpose the area, I don't think they could do an entire... Uh, what is it called? A dark... Um, uh, dark Universe? Is it dark, just called Dark Universe? Is it just Dark Universe? It is Dark Universe, They yeah. just use the Dark Universe. Um, the I whole, mean, obviously, we don't yeah. know what the attraction is going to look like. You know, size but, wise, like footprint wise, right? So, or what the I, ride vehicle is? Wait, it's a roller coaster, I think. It is a roller coaster, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it, it's hard to say what they can put there mm-hmm. because it would have to take up a massive portion of it, right? But they could do like meet and greets and kind of create like a dark universe light, right? You know, without an attraction, Sugar and they free. could just have like the dark, monsters, uh, dark universe zero. Dark Universe Zero, because they kind of already have the monsters walking around, but they don't have a specific area for them. No, they're just kind of like in the they're main just... drag. It's like Frankenstein and Lucy and the Blues yeah. Brothers and remember, Dracula and Scooby Doo. And... I remember the last time we went, we were taking the kids to the Despicable Me attraction, and like Frankenstein was walking up and down, yeah, like the the street right there, and then. He ended up meeting up with Scooby Doo halfway down because the mystery machine was out, right? You know, and Shaggy, and yeah, it's just crazy. And then the Blues but... Brothers were there, and some New York. I haven't seen the Blues Brothers. Oh, the Blues Brothers had a little show. I don't know if they still have it. They drive the cop car in, and they oh, have like the Blues Brothers and of Aretha Franklin, and yeah, I don't That's know if they still funny. do that one there. That might be gone. Um, I have to keep an eye out for that. See if they but it. yeah, it's it's interesting because they're they're really limited on space there at the at Universal unless they start 
demolishing more sound stages like they did with Nintendo. Um, oh, man. Uh, you know, their theme park may be making them more money than their movie studio, and they'll, you know, <laughs> add more stuff. They're they're putting that Fast and the Furious roller coaster on the side of the hill. Um, Wait, that's going to be a roller coaster? Yeah, it's a Fast and the Furious roller coaster. Maybe they'll have a Vin Diesel animatronic. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to be a roller coaster. Yeah, it's some sort of roller coaster. Okay, so they're really gunning to... So if they're doing roller coasters, they're trying to find like a happy middle between the Disney and Six Flags crowd then. Well, they, I mean, just if you think about it, they only have one roller coaster at uh, Universal. It's What's the, a, the Mummy. I guess that counts as a roller coaster. I mean, it's an indoor right? roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, it does okay. like a flip and all this stuff. I don't do it because it does a flip. But that's their only roller coaster. Like, Disneyland has like five roller coasters. Uh, oh, whether... no. It does have more. It's got um, the flight in in the Hogwarts area. Oh, I forgot and they it's added got the, that the, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's two because the Hagrid's one is technically a mini coaster. The the Flight of the Hippogriff, the, not the Hagrid's. Flight of the Hippogriff, yeah. yeah. So there's at least two there, and then mm -hmm. the mummy, and then are we calling the Sims roller coasters, like what? the Simpsons and the Transformers? No. Like with that's those... not a roller coaster. Transformers is a trackless and a vehicle. That's not a roller coaster. Okay, that's that's like Rise of Resistance trackless. Uh, the back to, or the Simpsons is like, I guess more akin to Soren than yeah. anything it's like a big screen with like the vehicles yeah. harry potter is on a track but it's a kooka arm uh thing i wouldn't really call that a roller coaster um so we'll call it roller coaster adjacent um but yeah i That's wouldn't it. and then i mean like uh jurassic world is a boat ride a boat ride but yeah. mario kart's not a roller coaster um that is uh, the slowest race ever. Right. That's what I've heard. <laughs> I've, I've, uh, what's the other one? Um, the the Minions is just like a weird show kind of thing. You sit there yeah. and it's like a 3D movie thing. Um, Secret Life of Pets. Uh, that's a dark ride. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they have two-ish roller coasters. And one one family world. coaster. And Waterworld, which is the best thing at Universal, <laughs> in my opinion. I love Waterworld. I think it's great. And the tram tour. Um, but yeah, so they, they don't really have any... I think this is going to be their like big like roller coaster roller coaster. Um, I, I My guess is it's going to be they're going to try and be something like how Velocicoaster is uh, over in Florida. Like that's like a, just a big... just roller coaster it's very much un it's like themed queue and then roller coaster and there's like a couple of dinosaur statues so nice. this will be because it's all i think it's like along the side of the hill is where they're putting the the like track um so it's going to be interesting to see if we get a vin diesel animatronic and he talks about family and that whatever else they talk about in Going, going fast and I, using nitrous. I wonder if uh, they're gonna keep them um, or keep that entire building as part of the tour with them if they have the roller coaster. I don't think. Oh, oh, with the with the video, yeah, I, that, they'll probably keep it with the with the helicopter and all that yeah. stuff because that's a yeah. whole ride <laughs> in the Florida one, which is like the saddest ride. They that whole thing that happens on the tram is a ride. <laughs> They have to stay oh, in line it's not for. part of their tour? No, they don't have a tour because it's not a movie studio. Oh, I didn't realize they didn't have a tour there. No, they don't have a tour. It's like you get on these like big Jeep looking things. Like uh kind of like the Animal Kingdom like Safari Jeeps. Oh, I know why I was confusing it. Uh huh. I was confusing it for the the thing at um Hollywood Studios. When the, oh, when, when they had MGM, a tour. Yeah, yeah when MGM they had, the tour. had a tour. For some reason, I was, like, conflating the two. They might have had a fake, uh, uh, like, a fake tour when they started. I don't know. I don't think they did uh, in Florida, but I could be wrong. I, that's oh, Universal history is not my uh, my bag. 
So now I want to look it up. I know they had a Jaws ride, and they have E.T., and they had uh, Back to the Future, and they had King Kong, and uh, I they remember, had a Ghostbusters show. I remember, um, I, I want to say I was like seven. Mm -hmm. Universal was, just like Disneyland, we didn't grow up going to the parks all that much. Like, we mm -hmm. only went when family came from out of town. Sure. And I remember there was one time, I don't know if the picture... Or who has the picture? But I, I want to say I remember taking a picture with ET in the bicycle. Mm -hmm. Like I'm standing right like in next the basket, to it, like in the basket, like uh -huh. with like him all covered up and stuff. I'm gonna ask, like, people in the family to see who might have that photo. That sounds very familiar. I might have also done something similar. I remember going on ET in, uh. In Hollywood, when it was still there before they turned it into Transformers, yeah. Um, hmm. And I remember it being cool. And then I've been on it in Florida. Um, yeah, that's a whole that's a whole trip that the I learned about. So the like the story of that ride is not just like a retelling of the movie. Because you like go to like ET's planet, and there's in like all yeah the one in Florida, you like go to like that like there's like a little bit of like it's like you have to take ET to his home planet, and so like you're on the bikes and you like go through a little bit of the town and blah 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 and do all the stuff and the cops are after you, but then you like end up at ET's planet and there's a bunch of ETs, um, and there's yeah it's just weird there's a bunch of weird like aliens and stuff i'm gonna have to look this up now. there's a whole there's book that's like a, there's like a VHS sequel or something yeah there's like a sequel book to et there um, is yeah and you find out that et's name is zrek like that's what his name is like in his like world and he's like a like a dentist or something or i don't know et's like some sort of like scientist or i don't remember exactly um Oh man, his name's Drek. Yeah, there's lots of ET lore out there. I, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> at first, it's like called first, ET there's... and the Green Planet or something or something like that. I think the book is called. There's a portion of me that just thought, okay, I'm. I feel like I'm getting really tired right now. Is Andrew really saying all of this? And like, is ET? I keep talking about really... all his ETs. Yeah, yeah. and. And so now, okay, so now I feel like I, I need to look up that. I need to look up the attraction. And hopefully there's, like, video that somebody posted. Right. Like, even if it's grainy and all tracky and stuff. Right. But, all right. I think it's time to call it. What do you think? Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's, let's, let's get out of here. It's super late. All right. Don't let McGruff know we're, we're closing out so he doesn't come on for... Like I want him to surprise me with the stuff he's writing next time. Yeah, you you want to be surprised? He doesn't. I want to be don't surprised. Want to show yeah. up. Okay. Um, yeah. I won't. I won't let him know we're we're ending. He's got good I, ears though. Okay. Oh, he does. Uh, he's a. Dog. He's got those big ears. Uh, I don't know what, like, what he's hearing. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh. Lance McGruff is here, but he's back again. <laughs> um. I, hey, I'm not even we're... close to being done with the movie. Um, oh, okay. Well, we're wrapping up the episode. Oh, okay. Is there anything you want to say to everyone listening or watching before we close out today? Sure. Um, listen here, folks. Um, in this rough world we live in, just remember that you have friends, and your friends can be your family, and your family and your friends are there to support you, and um, we all have to come together to be one big happy family. And if you don't have a big happy family, you can consider McGruff your family. I will be here for you. McGruff will be there for you. So just remember, folks, to be nice to everyone because that's the right thing to do. And if you're not nice to people, you're probably a criminal. And McGruff doesn't like criminals. So just remember, folks, that McGruff loves you. And 
I'm going to go back to writing a script about Indiana Jones the dog. Um, and there's a song about gravity. So yes. just take those words of wisdom from me, McGruff, and uh, be good out there, folks, because McGruff loves you. And that's all that really matters, according to me, because I'm a gruff. Okay, um, right. see y'all later, folks. All right, McGruff, we appreciate that. That was very kind of him. I know McGruff has some uh, wise words of wisdom sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. He's that got. Was, he's an enigma. That guy. That was very comforting. It was almost like Steve from Blue's Clues, like just coming on hey. saying, "You know, he loves yeah. me." Like it, that felt good. That's I'm good. I mean, that. I'm glad McGruff sometimes can can be, uh, you know, a nice guy and not just like talking about like what's a crime. I mean, he still yeah. was talking about how being mean, like being mean to people's a crime. Uh, so hey, you got to get the message across somehow. Yeah, right? he's he he he's really anti crime. That McGruff, I tell he you, sure what. is. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's gonna wrap it up for this week. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep moving forward, and always remember to pass on the magic. Have a fantastic week, everyone. And see ya. <laughs>